Live coverage now on BBC World News of the first round of results from the French presidential elections. Hello and a very warm welcome to our special results programme from Paris. It's a lovely evening here in the French capital. The Champs-Élysées behind us looking resplendent in the evening sunshine. And we have a fascinating night in prospect too with regards to the election campaign. Eleven candidates on the ballot paper today. Two of them will go through to the final round, the second round of voting a week on Sunday. We'll talk about those candidates in a second, but let's focus for a second on the French people because this election taking place in the context of those awful events on the Champs-Élysées on Thursday evening in which a policeman was killed and security has been stepped up today. In fact, the Interior Ministry put over 50,000 extra security personnel at the polling station up and down the country and it seems to have done the trick as you can see some healthy queues up and down the country the uh, turnout rate which has been projected so far somewhere near where it was in 2012 so yet again in the face of terrorism the French people showing themselves to be hugely resilient which is a good thing because that means we can focus on the really important stuff the election the candidates the policies that matter to the French people and not since 1958 and the founding of the Fifth Republic by Charles de Gaulle have we seen something like what we're witnessing here tonight Politics in France has been dominated by the two-party system, but it could well be this evening that the main two parties are eliminated in the first round. We shall see. So let's talk about the candidates we need to focus on. We'll start with Emmanuel Macron, 39 years of age. He would be the youngest.